Hi, my name is Otilia Abraham, and I'm a recent graduate of the 3 Plus 1 program at Hook College of Applied Sciences, and I'll be pursuing a forensics degree at Michigan State University later this fall. Hi, my name is Emily Kanuski. I'm a 3 Plus 1 student through North Central College in the Chemical Microscopy program. It's not just a, a frou-frou degree. You learn intense chemistry at your home college, so Concordia University for me, and then you come here your last year so three years you have to learn what a regular chemistry major might learn in four, and then you're here for your last year. So it's a lot of pressure, but you not only learn the chemistry techniques, you then apply them. You learn how to build upon that lecture material and really put it to use in an application-based manner. Once I figured out I did not want to be a doctor, I kind of, I remembered that I went on this tour and I was like, you know, that was really cool and that was a really cool set of skills that I am not going to get anywhere else. And I looked more into this program. And I really enjoyed working in the lab, so this was my home. This was where I was going to go. I'm kind of unique in the fact that when I started at Concordia, I knew that I wanted to pursue the microscopy program right off the bat. So I took that first class and I learned way more than I thought I would about trace evidence because the style of class I just didn't expect to learn as much as I did. It was the first time that I sat down at a polarizing light microscope and I looked at it and I was terrified. I had never seen anything so, so many bells and whistles in my life and I was intimidated. So after I got over that initial fear and we started looking at the white powder set, I realized, holy cow, why does cornstarch look so crazy under polarizing light. How does cross-polarized light do this? And I realized that understanding light and the way that it manipulated your sample and the way that your sample in turn manipulated the light told me so much that I didn't know. And I'm somebody who constantly wants to know more. I constantly look for more answers, more knowledge. Being able to just throw anything your heart desires underneath it and learn more about it. Is this isotropic? Is this anisotropic? How many refractive indexes does it have? I was blown away by the amount of knowledge that you could just get from this instrument that now seems so simple but before it scared the living daylights out of me. I love science. I love it so much and it, it, I don't see it as a job. I see it as just a project and an investigation. And Calling it a job doesn't seem right to me because it's more like you doing something for fun and you getting to the bottom of something, and you just discovering new things. And, it, and nothing about it seems like a job. Nothing seems like a work. All it seems like, if you have the drive and you're looking at something interesting, it's an exploration. <laughs>